and welcome back to Crusader of Cincy. I am L.T. Trith, Chronicle of the Elseworm Corporate, and today we're going through Iris. Having recovered the Flying Squirrel and the ability to rebound our blade off of any surface, most surfaces, we are ready to hit this area and get some more cash. Okay, 300. Oh, we're almost halfway. Honestly, that app, the Moon Health Power Up, is pretty much the only thing worth spending money on. If you're having a young player, I could see you needing the cat, maybe from time to time. As I mentioned before, the other power up animal is really kind of situational and not that useful. When you think about it, an animal that just blows up everything on screen is pretty much useless in any area where the enemies just keep coming. Okay, yeah, there's a good trick for that. Just let it pass them until their invincibility goes up, and then you can call your blade back. Okay, and that's why we need the rebounding sword. Though, frankly, I don't think there's any way to get here without going past the blimp. Uh, was it Shuffler? I think his name was? Nah. Okay. Hmm, now that we're past. I want to say there's some stuff you can get if you have the right power-ups by uh, guiding your blade further upstream, but uh, we're not quite there yet, so... Right now we have the Rebound Blade, we have the Ice Ability, and a the Dog who apparently stops enemies. I really should try that at some point, but uh, just no point. I mean, it's just go by the enemies. They're not that fast. See, I used to think this was connected to that place in the training area, but uh, it's not. In fact, you go back to the training area, it's just another, uh, it's just like a small contained area. It just happens to be the same tile set, I suppose. I do want to say there's either a money or a power up there, though. And, yeah, there's nothing over here. So, maybe, that's, the, that's the path I just went. Okay. But yeah, the fire pigs will spawn endlessly. Most of these monsters will just respawn as soon as you leave the screen, similar to Mega Man enemies. So clearing out the screen, not much point. Now this is the point in my original playthrough where I thought the game had glitched. And I ended up restarting and going through everything again before I fully caught on to what the fortune teller had done. I just didn't think about it. I didn't talk to anybody whenever I left. I could talk to animals, and I just assumed I could still talk to people. Whoops. And, uh, it's an on again. Jerk. With his highest. His one sorry animation. <laughs> Let's see. It's kind of a weird situation to be in, really. Okay. I uh, see a tra chest over here. It's already open, so there's not really much to do. Is this this big hole and a flower who wants to charge me money and just say no? Oh, no, I gave him money. Dang it. <laughs> of course, I know I can't seem to remember. There's one point where you do have to pay him, but it's not here. Maybe not, but. Yeah, the kicker of the flowers, he eventually just comes out and says it. The only reason he's charging you is because he wants to get some sort of vengeance on someone who goes around slashing plants. Guilty as charged, I suppose, but there's really no reason to talk to him. In fact, like I said, you can just save the money. I don't even know why I wasted my money, I suppose. Because I'm an idiot, apparently. Okay. Oh, interesting thing to note. You see, these trees have apples on them. Well, as you might expect, there are apples beneath them, too. And there we go. Kind of important now that I think about it, since enemies don't drop health power-ups in this game. Okay. Oh. Ow. 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 Okay. 
It's a wonder those tree stump spider things could just survive here. Money! Can't quite reach it yet, though. Oh, there we go. Another one of these. Anything down here? Uh, no, just another pig. Oh, dang it! Too close to the edge. Okay, kind of a tricky jump, but should be able to make it. Let's go get our money. So we got tree stumps, caterpillars, and fire pigs. Is there anything else? No, that does it. Oh, well, it's something, I suppose. Okay. We're in another uh, animal village, I believe. Yeah. The human can communicate with each other. Very interesting. Oh, as Johnny points out. I suggest maybe we should go to the Tower of Babel. Well, if we can't find the fortune teller here, it seems like maybe she's been there too. Okay, we have another... Yeah, there, the egg. It just destroys everything in an area. For a hundred melons, totally not worth it. I can see buying like two or three cats if you're worried. But, um... Oh. Okay. That's nice. Homes are nice. Be really? I don't know what I'm... Okay. <laughs> How cruel would your parent, uh, parent have to be to name their kids Smell? I won't say there's a few of them, too. They, they complain about skunks being smelly. You know, skunks are only smelly when they're pissed off. Okay. That's your hint. What you call them? House is full of holes. Okay. Talk to the father again, and you get a health power up. If you try to talk to him again, he admonishes you about wanting too much and gets pissed off again. So let's just keep moving. Okay. Here is an important animal pal, and one we need to get to keep going through the game. And you have to spend money here, no way around it. But, if you're lucky, you only need to spend the 20 balance the first time. And, yeah, this kind of goes to tank style controls, or, what was that, or the FX Racing game on Super Nintendo? Similar thing, you basically you're going forward and you just use the control pad to turn in sort of Resident Evil style. See though, the cheetah is pretty dang fast. In fact, I am probably going to lose this round. It's okay though. Getting close. Might be able, might be able to get him. He's pretty close. It's these turns that are killing me. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Wish I didn't need a boost or something. Getting close though. If I'm careful, I might be able to get him this time. Well, I technically ran over him. I guess it's not considered a true victory. Oh, I don't think it was on the grass too long. No! No! No, oh, so close. Okay, let's try again. I gotta try... There's another way, but it's gonna cost more money. And I'll tell you what, if I can't get it this time, I'll go ahead and do it the other way. The thing is, it costs more than 20, so it's... Uh, okay, but, but we were pretty close last time. If I'm careful this time, I should be able to do it. This is a nice thing to kind of have programmed in there. Yeah, it's, it's fun. This is the only time it comes into play, but eh. In terms of mini games, it's, can't complain about it. Oh, see, see, I'm almost in front of him. I am in front of him. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory! Just gotta do two more laps. And not screw up. Oh! 
No, God, no, I'm, it's aww. So I didn't like racing games when I was younger. Or older. Burnout Paradise doesn't count. <laughs> it's a car destruction game. <laughs> played that in a while, but uh, can't really say. Most of the games I'm going to be doing for this, they're games that are sort of inspired by riding in one way or another. This one, we'll, we'll get to that at the end, but I can't say that you know, Para uh, Burnout Paradise really did that. Dang it, I lost again. Fine. If you really want to win easily, What you do is after you pay the rabbit, you talk to the leopard. Or the cheetah. Probably the cheetah. Charlie the cheetah, that makes no sense. You can pay him 50 bucks to slow down. I have to mention though, as you saw, it's possible to win without it. If you can, you'll want to save that money. So you're already wasted almost 50 bucks trying to beat him otherwise, let's just get it done. Ugh. All the money in the game is tied up in like your early puzzles, and sometimes you just don't remember to go back and check it out. Like in the the uh, an enemy coast dungeon, the one with the wind and everything. There's like a health power up, and I want to say there's at least one more uh, money power money drop somewhere. And you need a certain animal to get, animal to get to at least one of two. But by the time you get it, you're not even thinking about it. And honestly, you don't even really need it. Like whenever I played, um, what's the one I played? I played recently through uh, the hero mode on Link Between Worlds. Honestly, I did, I did the last boss pretty easily, but until then, every boss was like down to the last heart. Every heart I could get, I needed. Then again, I don't think this is made to be too tough of a game. Kind of a. I guess you could say it's kind of a kid's version of Zelda. A younger, proud version of Zelda. Oh well, got my cheetah. And you want the cheetah, even if it wasn't necessary, you'd want to get it anyway, because his big thing is that he doubles your walking speed. Thanks to that, we can now progress through the game in a much faster fashion. I want to see if there are any apples around. Oh, nothing apples, okay. We can move around faster, though, and we can jump. But... We'll have to continue this next time. Have a good one.